What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games, we're going to be checking out Bravers. It's a game that actually weirdly enough reminded me of Sunless Sea a little bit. In regards to the control structure anyways, so this is a post-apocalyptic game where you've got a skyship and you've got to fly around in giant subterranean caverns, killing monsters, collecting loot, and kitting out your custom ship however you see fit. The game currently has a demo available to kind of drum up support and like interest in the title on Steam. I'll have a link down below so that you can check that out after watching the video. If after watching this you wanted to get the game for yourself, it will be at that link. You can also check out my Twitter, my Twitch stream, and also my Discord where I would love to be your host. So anyways, let's dive on in and spend about 25 minutes with the game and see if it's something that you are interested in. 26 years ago, a massive asteroid crashed into our planet. The surface of the Earth became uninhabitable. Survivors had no option but to move underground. Bacteria from the asteroid spawned the growth of huge, strange plants and mushrooms. Most of the mushrooms and plants seemed quite normal, but some had amazing properties. Some of the plants and mushrooms were successfully used as fuel for super-efficient engines, which made it possible to create anti-gravity fields. This was how the new low-soaring underground fleet appeared. Having recovered from the cataclysm, people began to rebuild society. But not everyone wanted to report to the new government. They proclaimed themselves anarchists and refused to obey the orders of the military and the government. The government and military in turn called them pirates and marauders and thus declared war against them. The year is 2047. 26 years have passed since the meteorite fell. During this time, a new generation has been born and grown, small but already capable. Stu is one of the new generation people. He turned 14 today, which means that... <laughs> that means he can now have his own ship, <laughs> can get married and eat relaxing mushrooms. <laughs> As if I haven't tried them already. Stu grabs the keys for his own new personal ship and runs out of the house to sea. <laughs> I can just imagine how happy you are. A <laughs> single deck fly. I couldn't have imagined something like that at your age. Dad, what the? It only has enough power for a few minutes of flight and doesn't have room for an extra tank. <laughs> One step at a time, Stu. <laughs> Just wait a couple of years, you can use this as the start of an excellent four-deck build. Maybe I could just join the army and get to fly on a huge cruiser like my brother. And then, and then, I could find a lot of blue crystals and become rich and buy anything I... And buy anything I... So anyways, welcome to Bravers. That's going to be the intro right there. We're not going to read that right there because it doesn't matter. I already kind of know how to play the game. <laughs> As it currently seems to go whenever I make a video. So here we are. We've got our little skyship, and we've got Stu. If Stu dies, bad things happen, and we got to restart the game. Uh, but other than that, we've got nothing but a little engine and a little gun and a deck chair, apparently. Those are the things we've been gifted. For the interest of the demo, for those of you that are interested in trying it on out, if you go to that point of interest back there, they will actually give you what effectively amounts to, like, infinite money for the demo. Just in case you wanted to play around with shipbuilding, maybe we'll do something like that, like, at the end of the video. But for right now, I wanted to introduce you to, like, the core concepts of the game. Down the bottom left-hand corner, we've got ourselves a journal. We've got the amount of fuel that we have left inside of our skyship. We have how much scrap, which is basically the de facto currency of the game. We can use it to buy new modules. We can use it to repair things. Basically, it's a multi-use universal currency. Uh, we've got how loaded our ship is at the moment versus how much it's generating in terms of lift. And then we've also got our cargo space, which at the moment is kind of limited. Nonetheless, we can take young Stu here and we can put him inside the gun seat. We can fly the ship without anybody actively piloting it, but it'll handle a little bit worse. So that's that's just something to keep in mind. Inside the dock right here, we're going to be able to get our first quest, which is going to be to go and kill some small monsters. So there it is. So you think you can call yourself a captain now? I don't think so. You're not a captain until you can start an engine. You're a captain when you can survive the battle. People are saying there are horrible little creatures scattered around the village. Spitters. So be careful and don't forget... 
to get at least the most basic cannon before you leave the dock. Be sure to tell me all about your adventures when you get back. So we'll go murder some spitters. Inside the tavern, we can get new crew members, but they are very expensive. And we can get quests. Inside the shop, uh, we can buy things and sell things. Most of the loot that we're going to be picking up is going to be able to be sold here. And you can use that to exchange for fuel or other things you might have your eye on. On top of that, there's also a shipyard. This is where we're going to buy new parts for our ship. And then we can mount them and add them on in. Things like extra cannons, extra boosters, storage slots, engines, all that kind of fun stuff. This menu right here is the repair menu. If you have anything damaged, this little meter will be like slightly lower and you can click on it and you can get it repaired right here in exchange. But everything in the game is done through barter and trade and so that's kind of a good thing but also kind of a bad thing. We can tap on the W key to set our forward thrust and that's just going to maintain whether or not our finger is on the key or not. We can turn a little bit and this is the part that really kind of reminds me of Sunless Sea is that like you kind of just like set off a heading and and then you just kind of go for it. These little dudes out here, those are the spitters that we're looking for. But we're going to want to be kind of careful about the way that we approach them. We can really only handle like one at a time. This game is pretty difficult and it has no qualms about basically sending you packing. And basically putting a few new bites in that booty hole. So let's see if we can go after this guy right here. The gun can rotate a little bit. Uh, we have taken a scuffing right there. They are dealing some damage out. But we've managed to kill our first one. He didn't, like, provide us with any loot, though. Unfortunately, nothing good right there. We've got another ship over on that side and a super spitter over there. But I'd rather be careful about this whole thing. There is a point of interest on this side, and I am interested in figuring out if it's randomly generated or not. So we'll check that out in just a second once we know that we're safe. I'd rather not fight both of these spitters at the same time, but there is a very real possibility that they're going to aggro together. And there's no, like, defensive line or anything we can fall back behind either. So, like, once we aggro these, we effectively, like, have to deal with them by ourselves. So, like, there's not going to be any defensive blockade or anything going on back at the town. Like, there's no, like, guns or anything that'll shoot these down if we run back over there as far as I know. I would say our smart plan for now would be to kind of, like, chill right here and see if we can... Yeah, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Oh, we hit one on accident. We hit the one in the back. Okay, so let's just kind of, like, reverse for a second. Get the reload off. Yep, and we're just going to back up ever so slightly. There we go. We killed it off, and we only took one damage. Very, very nice. And this one dropped loot, so we'll see if we can get our hands on that. Looks like he dropped something in fuel. I don't know what the other thing is. It looks like some kind of mushroom cap or something. All right, so let's stop right here. And I'm just going to back it off ever so slightly. And there's all three of our spitters that we had to kill before we go back to town. I don't know if this stuff respawns. That's something that I haven't verified yet. Another free fuel. I'll definitely take that because we're kind of almost redlining right now, which is never where you want to be, man. You don't want to be living that life where, like, you get out to the car every day and have a miniature panic attack about where the needle's at. I'm just going to keep backing up on this dude. There we go, and there goes another one. I don't know how long it's going to take us to level up, but your characters do level up and they do get skills. It looks like they do indeed respawn. It looks like that one came back right there. Let's go turn this in back in the village, but let's hit this point of interest first and see what it does for us. The last time I came over here, it looked like it was a different building, so it's possible that it's randomly generated. You spotted a small fly. There are clouds of smoke rising above it. You can hear someone cursing and hitting something very heavy on the metal. It's an unfamiliar situation. We can help him out. As you approach the fly, you see a dirty captain. He tells you the story of how he was attacked by pirates and had his ship broken and barely survived. There's no way to really repair his ship, so the choice is yours if you want to tow it back to the nearest dock. Yeah, let's help him out. You hook the damaged fly, crank the engines to full throttle, and started towing. The engine's at max, but it will power both ships. You make it all the way back to the nearest dock, and the captain thanks you for your help and shares the last of his remaining supplies. Doing good deeds is always good. Oh, yeah, we got a bunch of stuff right there. So it is randomly generated. When I came over here before, there was a bunch of, it was a different building, and a bunch of rats ate all my supplies. And I was like, oh, weak, dude, I guess I'll re-roll. Like, they ate, like, half my fuel. It was deeply upsetting. What kind of rat eats gasoline, dude? That's a rat that I would never tangle with. That's a rat that knows his place in the world. That's a rat that understands that he is the Chad and you are the Melvin. That's a chit. That's that's a rat you just leave alone. I'm not even sure our little Barrett 50 cal over here would help against it. All right, let's pull back into the dock. We'll turn in this quest and see if we can get paid. Dip dip dip. I'm going to the tavern. All right, so there it is. 
We'll get our reward. We got 250 XP, 30 scrap, and 15 fuel. Time for lunch. Hey, son, I see you're a big kid now. Don't bother about your family, or don't forget about your family. Otherwise, you're going to end up like your brother. Your dad stepped in for a minute and then continued. There's the problem. Your mother asked me to gather bowl shrooms to replace your dining set, but my ship ain't running. You know, if I tell your mom that we got a new engine and still can't repair the ship, we're all in big trouble, so be a good kid. Help your dad out. Three bowl shrooms should be just about enough for the three of us. I know splitters eat them sometimes and can't process them all the way, so anyways, you know what I mean. Go dig them out. All right, so we got to kill some more. Uh, inside the shop, it looks like we got one bowl shroom already from the one that we killed. We've got a wrench over here. I don't know if that has any, like, tangible value. Maybe. Maybe we'd be able to hire somebody to help us out over here. Let's go to the shipyard and see if maybe we can get a new gun. So we've got a new cannon right there. That was not worth as much as I was hoping. However, we do have like 90 scrap. That doesn't even get us part of the way there. So yeah, we're kind of like, we're kind of hurting right now. I could technically defuel the ship in order to get there. But it looks like even if I sold everything that we have, we couldn't get to that trade. So unfortunately, not going to be the way to get it done. Uh, over here, I would like to maybe repair the ship a little bit. There we go. And then we'll repair that on up. we got to go find some more bull shrooms. So let's get cruising. Dun, 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 dun. That's like my shipborne song right there. That's a song that I sing when I'm flying through a skyship. Doesn't get to happen very often, so I haven't refined the song very much, but I promise. <laughs> it's kind of like how it begins. It's kind of like that first measure, you know what I mean? It's provocative. It gets the people pumped up. Let's go kill a few more of these little turds. And if I can kill a few more of them without getting any damage, that would be super ideal. All right, so there's one down. We've got another one over here. I would like it if you could tag what target you wanted to shoot at. So you could, like, ping them by left-clicking on them, and then all guns would focus on that target. Looks like we haven't even hit anything yet. There we go. There's the strike that I was looking for. Keep on firing. Keep doing your thing. Perfecto. A little bit of loot right there. I also wish there was a manual reload key. I would like it if the UI sort of provided you with how much ammo was left in each gun, just with like a little meter that emptied on out. And then an idea you could automatically reload or after combat you could reload it manually or whatever with like a cool like cha-ching noise. Like, I don't know, dude. I'm a big fan of like audio design and I actually think the machine gun sounds pretty good in this game. I like the way it sounds. Uh, I'm just going to dip on out. No, don't shoot your boogers at me. No, thank you. I am uninterested in thy boogers, sir. Uh, we got to bring this dude around. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, let's bring it around. We're going to take a hit right here, though. Ow. Got a little bit of XP, though. How do I tell, like, how experienced I am? So it appears as though we tell through our journal menu right here. It looks like we're moving on up, and we do have kind of like a limited skill tree that's available for the duration of the demo. I think it wouldn't be the worst idea if we kind of look around and see if there's any, like, gnarlier critters around that we could mess with. There is a ship over there, and I really have no interest in messing with him. It looks like we've got another, like, sort of off-colored critter on that side, too. You want to take that shot? I mean, if you want to take that shot, I'm interested in, like, feeling out if we can actually make this happen. Looks like they're not both aggroed. Ooh, God. Okay, this one's a little tougher and meaner. This one's a little meaner, bro, if you don't kill it. Oh my god, we killed it. He was worth 100 XP. We got to go back to the dock now. We are beyond busted right now. Stu is almost dead, all right? Studebaker's got problems. That's what, that was, Stuart, right? Stuart is the long name for Stu. I don't know, dude. I think Studebaker is better. I'd go with Studebaker if I had my choice. I got bad news. Our gun just melted off. So apparently that guy was flammable. And we learned that lesson the hard way. The good news is our ship is a lot faster now. We may actually have to take the free money in order to be able to keep playing. The beginning of this game is not generous, like, at all. Uh, so anyways, we got a couple of crystals right there. What will the crystals get me? The crystals will get me, like, 20 scraps, so they're worth, like, 10 apiece. Okay. Eh, sure, why not? Might as well sell them. Uh, I'm going to go get the free money from the from the tutorial thing over here. I promise not to use it unless we really, really need it. But we got to get back on the horse here. All right, so they gave us 15 Bitcoin. That means, effectively, we can basically do whatever we want. That's like infinite money, right? Uh, so we've got this. This is a cool opportunity, though, because it's going to show us the ability to like kind of kit out the ship as well. Uh, so we need like a new cannon for sure. There's a secondary cannon right there that does 12 damage. Let's just get the secondary cannon, and then we'll just throw a couple of those at the problem. 
and we'll buy that cannon too. We'll throw that on in there, and we'll just kind of like raise our game for right now. Got a small steering. We got like a booster right there. I do think it'd be pretty cool to have another engine. Yeah, give me another engine and another booster and like a storage. There we go. Perfect. All right, so now we got parts and stuff that we can throw on this bad Betty. I'm going to throw another engine right there. I'm going to throw a booster back here, and we'll put that right next to the storage. And then we'll go guns up front, and then we'll go guns up front. Although I kind of think about it, it might be cool to kind of have them on the port side so that we can sort of like maneuver while we're being shot at. In addition, this gives us a sweet-ass opportunity to get new crew members too. So like, we'll go ahead and get him, and then we'll go ahead and get this guy too. There you go. So we've got two more crew members, and we can assign them to do things. You guys get on the guns real fast, and then we have one person on the engine back here. Let's see how this thing cruises. She cruises good. She cruises good. We need bull shrooms, but there's another quest over here to kill one of the big badass spitters. And so I think we should probably get that quest while we're in the neighborhood, too, so that we can wipe them on out. We'll go on over here, and we'll get the quest for the big one right there. There we go. That little red guy was mean, man. I did not expect him to be as gnarly as he ended up being. I thought he was just like a recolor. No, man, he was not playing around. Uh, we got a bunch of enemies over here, and I can see, like, a number of ways this might conceivably go wrong on us. Oh, that cannon actually got some bucket, too. Oh, wow. That cannon actually deals damage. It's got some range to it, too. Yeah, just back up and launch cannon shells at him until you hit some. Uh-oh. I believe that I have hit things that I did not mean to hit. Yeah, this might get a little ugly. And there's our first booger out. I'm just going to kind of, like, zigzag it back. That thing does not appear to want to die, however, though. He's pretty tough. Hopefully he drops decent loot for what he is. Oh, that thing's got a hitbox on it. All right, bring it around solid. And there's another enemy down, dude. They're doing a lot of damage out here, but maybe we could pull out some of those quest items, huh? Let's grab that guy right there. Oh, the big guy's got the real loot on him. Okay, all right, I respect it. I think our other loot node disappeared over here, though, which is kind of a bummer. I'm going to pull in and see if I can wipe these guys out real quick. It doesn't seem like it takes as much effort to kill the little ones now, so that's fine. That's like pretty much where I wanted to be. We'll grab that, get some free fuel, and maybe some of that butt slime that we just pulled out of that thing. This thing should be dead before it gets a chance to attack us. All right, so we've got a little bit more loot right there. Let's try to get out of here before we get ourselves in any more trouble. Uh, but anyways, we do have a map available as well, so you can kind of cruise around and explore as you see fit. I don't know where people are at with their XP. Oh, it looks like the XP is maybe, like, ship-wide. Okay. Well, let's go back and we'll turn this thing on and we'll see what rad stuff the quest gives us. Maybe I'll just get rid of all the extra Bitcoin currency to get rid of, like, the, the temptation to use it. But then again, we've got some repairs going, too, so I think we're going to chew through it pretty fast. A little bit of crash action back there, but we're back in the pilot seat. That's... I don't know. With these early titles, you never know what's going to happen, but I have had some technical difficulties. When it crashed the demo, in fact, I had to uninstall and reinstall the entire demo while removing all the files to get it functional again. So just something to keep in mind early on, but still. Uh, we'll throw that stuff in there, and then I'm just going to kind of like... I'm going to scrap out on this one. There we go. Let me fix my guns. We got to turn in this quest, though, to the tavern because we killed the big guy. So we killed the giant big spitter. There it is. We got 30 scrap, 10 fuel. Time for lunch. I still haven't finished the bull shroom yet. So we've still only got, like, one of those. So we're going to have to track down, like, more of them. Luckily, there are many, many enemies over here to the side. In fact, it feels like some of the packs that spawn, they spawn randomly as well. Because this area, the last time I played the game, did not have this point of interest. And then, like, all these little dudes over here did not exist as well. There we go. There's a kill. And we got a level up so we can take a look at the progression system. Yeah, go ahead and pull that on over to there. Maneuverability is not something that I have truly well figured out yet. Hey, can you shoot the one that's right in front of us, please? Thank you. Appreciate Oh, there's a big one right there. Don't like that. Yeah, just kind of like weasel our way out of this as best we can. I don't think we have a choice, though. I think they just try to occupy. So with their AI, they don't try to orbit you or anything else like that. I think they just try to ram up on top of you and hope for the best. Aw, oh, dude, the loot respawned or despawned. That was hella fast. 
Okay, well, that's another thing that'll probably have to be looked at, is the loot should be, like, permanent. It should stay there forever. Unless another ship comes by and gets it. One more thing to deal with. It's unclear how rats got on the ship, but that's a fact. There's no food to eat, so they ate the fuel hoses. Weak. Alright, well, let's take a look at the level up system. So we can increase our mechanic skill, so that'll increase our repair speed. We've got turret rotation, and we've got reload speed ups. I don't know how to do the personal mechanic thing, actually. Yeah, as far as, like, doing the personal mechanic stuff, like repairing things all by your lonesome, I don't know exactly how that works. Like, I, I don't see, like, so normally in, like, RimWorld or something, you would just click and put them on the station while it's damaged, and they would just do it automatically. In fact, I think that's a really, really good idea, is they should have, like, a switch over here that's basically on-duty and off-duty. And, like, off-duty, they go around and just repair things around the ship using your scrap, and on-duty, they go back to their designated sections and they ignore repairs. There's another one down. We took a little bit of a scuffing right there, but I'm okay with it. Bull shrooms? Nope, no bull shrooms, unfortunately. Cutlery shrooms, where are you? I require your aid, cutlery shrooms. Please help me. I need objects to eat off of. It's too difficult to just use scrap that's kind of shaped like a plate. I don't know if that dude's coming after us right there. It's possible that he might be. We just gotta hit him with the big cannon, though. The big cannon. Oh, dude, you swap targets. Don't do that. Yeah, I definitely recommend they add a target designation so you can call out a target and basically force everybody to fire on that same target. That would be the best way to do it, anyways. They could even do like a, a left click, right click type deal. Oof. Okay, we're a little bit hurt. We've been in better situations. There's the bull shroom right there that we were looking for. I definitely don't wanna fight anything right now because we are. You just had to do it, didn't you? You just couldn't resist the urge. You just had to take the shot, huh? I get it. Sometimes you gotta shoot your shot. Let's go back to the dock and get repaired up. Alright, so inside the dock, we go back to the shipyard. We've got quite a few repairs to get done. That seems to be kind of overly generous, so we don't want to spend that. However, that seems about right. I don't know how good those are, but there you go. We've repaired up the ship and we're ready to rock. We've got two of the bull shrooms required for our little questy boy. I don't know if there's anything else we can add over here. Like, are there more people inside the tavern? Did we only get those two starting guys? It looks like we only get the two starting guys, so that's fine. Uh, let's continue chugging on over here. See if we can lock down another bull shroom. I do think that the respawn rate is a little bit fast. And I do think the loot despawn rate is way too quick. Like, I know there's kind of like a... There's no point in critiquing like a promotional demo, I guess. But, because, like, most of those things are probably going to be smoothed over as the game gets towards, like, final development. But I don't know, dude. It runs in my blood. I just can't help it. It rushes through, and I just want to, like, talk about things. And we've got another little station over here. Let's see if we can do anything with this. Oh, we're in combat. Hold on. There we go. I'm going to grab that loot real fast. It's going to despawn by the time I Oh, my God. You hit that. What an actual god. You hit that from that range. What a champ. All right, well, let's back it up like a dump truck. Beep. An angel little girl with blue eyes staring into your soul. Please, he's a good boy. Take him. She's holding a huge burnt box, and there's a rustling coming from it. You open the box, and there's a little fire spitter inside. To say your surprise isn't anything, where'd you get it? She starts crying and begging you to take it. Mom won't let her home with the new pet. Okay, let's take it. New pet likes the ship. He flies around all the corners and leaves marks behind him. You took it easy, but its excrement burned a hole in the ship. Now you have to fix it. Aw, weak, dude. Is he on the ship? Where is he at? Aw, oh, he's not on the ship. I was hoping he would actually be, like, flying around the ship and he would act as, like, an extra little turret or something. That would have been rad, dude. Because the fire spitter is one of those red things that we just fought. And maybe he, like, gets bigger and he grows up and evolves and stuff. Like, as you get further on into the game and you get XP, dude. Oof, I would play this game just for that. I love pets. Pets are the best. I wish I had more of them. I'm just gonna just, like, war my way through here, I guess. There we go. Give me that loot. There's the three bull shrooms that we needed. All right, let's go back to base. Pulling into the dock. I'm pulling into the dock. All right, so we've got that quest done. I feel pretty good about it. We're eventually going to have to strike out further, although without more firepower, I don't know how we're going to pull that off. I guess we could put three gunners on and just have nobody on engines and just hope that it works out. Stupid fire spitter. All right. Are there any more modules I can buy? I could get one more. There's an auto cannon right there, which is rad as hell, and I want it. Let's go with the auto cannon, dude. We're almost at the end of the video anyways. Who cares? There we go. Slap those bad boys on there. That's that's what I need in my life. 
All right, so guns are on the front side right there. Maybe we have like a forward gun right there and like a gun right there just to increase the maximal direction that we can fire in. Yup. To the tavern to turn in that quest. Boom. Bull shrooms. A done. Uh, it wants me to have a crew greater than that. I've already done that. And then friendly visit. Reach the town of Miner's Village. Okay. I don't know where that's at, but I'm more than willing to give it a shot. Uh, you are no longer on engines. You are on forward guns, my guy. We're definitely slower right now. I can tell that we picked up some weight. I get, we're, we're, feeling, we're feeling a little clunky right now. I don't think we're dodging anything, but all things considered, we might be able to get some serious damage dealt. I'm going to go the long way around over here, and then we'll see what we can do with all these guns lined up. All right, so it looks like we leveled up again. I don't know where Miner's Village is. I also don't know if that guy's hostile right there. Maybe I should upgrade something. We get more ship space and expert mechanic. Change ship block durability bar into button. Press button to assign closest idle crew member to repair the block. Okay. That seems useful. I think I would like to do that to save money on repairs. Auto cannon, are you going to mess this up for me, man? I do think the game needs like a hold fire button at the bare minimum to keep them from just randomly unloading on stuff like they have a tendency to do. Well, he's dead. Wasn't very explosive. Wasn't the craziest, most interesting thing I've ever seen. This gun is not working right here. Let's say I take you off and then I say, hey, push the button. Yeah, there we go. Fix that thing on up. Very nice. Yeah, go fix that one too. Cool. Well, at least we can see how that works now. I, I do think having a binary system where it's like on duty and off duty. So off duty, they don't fire guns. They just focus on repairing stuff and like moving around the ship and being on like control modules like the engines and whatnot would be cool. And then like you have like a fire mode basically where everybody mans a station and gets ready to go into the fight. And like that's when they'll auto fire at stuff. Even then, I think it still would be useful to have like a hold fire button just so they don't like randomly strafe targets when you don't want them to. But either way, works for me. Uh, you're all done there? All right, come get back on your gunnery station, please. There we go. Uh, I don't know what this is right here, but I'm going to go look at it. What are you, large object at the bottom of the earth? Can I have you? Are you made of loot? You've noticed some old rusty barrels next to you. There definitely might be something in them. Sadly, all the barrels but three are empty and were used to store fuel. You can try to take the barrel on board. Extra fuel is always a good thing. Yeah, let's do it. The barrel was rusty and leaked on board. Now it's splashed onto the deck. Uh-oh. That's probably not ideal. I don't know how to put out a fire. Uh, how do I put out a fire? Does that put out the fire, maybe? I don't know if it does. We'll find out, I guess. Uh, no, I don't think that that put out the fire. So, that leaves us in an interesting situation where I don't know how to douse flames. Uh... Uh... Concerning, to say the least. I have no idea how to put out the fire. They aren't doing it automatically, so I guess we just lose that block. <laughs> I I have no clue how to put out a fire. Uh, I clicked on it. I tried just about everything to put out the fire. You'd think they would just do that automatically, like RimWorld style. But they do not. Uh, they do not. This turret is also not functioning. It said something about needing to hook it up to like our fuel supply or something. Let's take a look. So we do have this right here. I don't know, maybe firefighting isn't implemented yet. Either way, that was kind of costly. But my name is Splattercat. This game is called Bravers. I hope you guys like it. Uh, this is the demo, like the very, very early alpha demo. I can't stress that enough. Obviously not super ready for prime time, but honestly, it's pretty dry out right now for indie games. And it was the one that showed promise among everything that landed on my desk. Everything else was kind of like, meh, this is terrible. Uh, so anyways, I will see you all later. Thank you for stopping on in. I look forward to seeing how this game develops because I do like the idea of being able to fiddle with my 
own skyship. This turret right here needs to be wired, and I haven't figured out how to do it yet. I almost guarantee it happens from this menu right here somehow, but I haven't figured out how to rewire it just yet. I don't know if we need, like, a special facility or something else in order to wire it on into, like, our power structure, but I haven't figured it out. That's why that's not working, is it said something in its description about needing to be wired through the ship integrity menu, and, like, I, I think this is the shit. This looks right here like the thing that would make that work. I don't know why these are draggable and droppable right here. The game doesn't really have a tutorial. I fiddled with it for a while before I recorded, but you know. And with these early demos and whatnot that they throw out there, honestly, I think they could be a little bit more prepared with, like, full-on, like, demos and whatnot. Like, there is such a thing, I think, as, like, showing the game off too early. But anyways, I'll see y'all later. Thank you for stopping on in. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. And I will see you all next time. Bye, everybody. This is Bravers.